uh, hello everyone in this video uh, we'll delve into a comprehensive comparison of tableau server and tableau desktop the two key versions of tableau software further we'll explore their unique functionalities maybe their use case and makes things more crystal clear so we'll illustrate the difference uh, using a simple example that highlights how these tools work together to transform data into actionable insights. So as we all know, Tableau Server and Tableau Desktop are two components of Tableau ecosystem, each serving a different purpose. So here is a comparison of these two. First one, Tableau Desktop. So the purpose behind this Tableau Desktop is for creating, designing, and maybe publishing interactive visualization and reports. So most of the times, data analysts, maybe business professionals use Tableau Desktop to connect to various data sources, create data visualizations, uh, build dashboards, analyze data, <clears throat> much more. <clears throat> And coming to your Tableau server, so it's a web-based platform for sharing, collaborating, and managing Tableau content across the organization. So this Tableau server, it's mainly used to secure, publish your uh, large audience, including clients, stakeholders. So in this server, it kind of provides centralized data governance. It, it will also provide security and easy access control. So in summary, Tableau Desktop is used for data visualizations, reports, while Tableau Server is used for sharing, collaborating, and managing those visualizations across an organization. But let's come to why this is used. So let's understand when it is time to bring in the Tableau server. For example, let's take this. In order to scale Tableau to enterprise or to achieve true self-service capabilities, you'll need to add Tableau server to, it, to your environment. So as I said, Tableau server provides a data governance, centralized, maybe centralized data management and much more. So it will be a little tricky <laughs> because both Tableau Server and Tableau Desktop uh, environments are nearly identical. So if they are nearly identical, it brings up a lot of questions. Uh, like, should you use Tableau Desktop or Tableau Server? What is the difference between the two products? So in this uh, video, let's understand that. So uh, let's see this when it is time to bring in a Tableau server. For example, when these att attachments are quite huge, where is the data source? Where on SharePoint is this again? <clears throat> Which version are we using? So when you come across so many problems, you can just shift to Tableau server. So in this, let's understand. Uh, what are the difference between Tableau Desktop and Tableau Server by taking five key points, your collaboration, mobile support, security, functionality, scalability, new features on Tableau Server, on Tableau Online. Okay, let's see about collaboration. So in Tableau Server, uh, you can say that web authorization environment can be created. You can publish workbooks, data sources without the need of Tableau Desktop. Okay, that is collaboration. But once data source and workbooks are published to Tableau server, they can be organized and also consolidated under projects where they can be easily centralized. So which eliminates the error of emailing workbooks and links to individuals. <clears throat> Second one, mobile applications. So Tableau desktop includes uh, options to create device specific layouts but in tableau server you can create device specific layouts for desktops tablets phones as well as uh, many other relative generic electronic items <clears throat> so 
modifications of defined uh, device can be created in Tableau server. But that can be done in Tableau desktop. If you want a particular device model, you will need to use Tableau desktop once or quite often. Third one, security. Uh, you can say that Tableau server can be used to manage access or publish content to help protect sensitive data. So within Tableau server, administrators can create groups, grant permissions on projects, workbooks, views, or data sources. Security can be managed at a very granular level in Tableau server. For example, you can specify if users can download or edit worksheets or only view them as we do it in Excel. So, or if you want to restrict data by user or by hierarchy, there are multiple ways to enforce this on Tableau server. Uh, coming to the fourth point, functionality in authorizing environment. Your Tableau server and Tableau desktop each offer a rich Tableau development or authorizing environment. They are quite similar in terms of development functionality, but there are quite few differences. For example, uh, Tableau Desktop provides some analytic capabilities which are not found in Tableau environment, which are not found in Tableau server's environment. Uh, then coming to the fifth point, scalability or performance. So when you incorporate Tableau server, you can add more servers to handle users load. Tableau servers also include license. So these allows you to understand analytic needs, adjust, a mix, adjust the mix of needs, drive down the cost much more. So these are some of the differences about Tableau desktop and Tableau server. Thank <laughs> you.